hey guys welcome back so today we're going to be starting the staircase makeover and i'm so excited to get this carpet out of here it's so old so worn and just you know stained up i have my husband here helping me out today he's going to be pulling up the carpet so yeah i figured i'll let him join in on the fun <laughs> normally i do this stuff when he's at work but yeah it's the weekend so He's home and we're going to go ahead and get started with him taking up the carpet and the padding and also remove the tack strips. But yeah, he's going to go ahead and do that and I'll take over from there. Walking hand in hand on the ocean floor, down deep we wonder. Louder we sing, no there is no cure in this together. So the carpet is off, the padding. Now I need to go and just, you know, clean off the wood. I have to remove some nails and some staples, repair the wood like here. There is some damage, um, not too much damage. I have a lot of cleaning to do now. So let's go ahead and whew, tackle that. I am sweating. Whew. Why am I sweating? <laughs> I didn't even do anything yet, but I'm hot. Let me turn on the um, AC. What is going on? Why is the AC off? It's hot. Okay. Whew. All right, let's get this done. guys so what i'm doing now is sanding the wood only the areas that are going to be exposed because i'm going to have the running the runner coming down the middle so i'm not going to worry about that but i am going to paint the wood and i don't want it to you know look bad so i want it, i want to have a nice smooth surface so i'm just sanding the sides you know tried to get up as much of this paint that was on the stairs. I have my vacuum right here to catch some of this dust that's flying everywhere. That's what you see. So if you're wondering, yeah, that's my vacuum. I'm trying to just catch as much of the dust as possible because it's everywhere. <laughs> Okay, so I'm done sanding the stairs. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the nail holes and I'm going to use this wood filler. So yeah, this one here, I got it from Lowe's. So I'm just going to go ahead and take care of that. And when this dries, I'll go ahead and sand it some more. I'm gonna do this one too because I don't want that to show through the paint. All right, so my wood filler is dry. I'm just gonna 
sand it down some so it can be nice and smooth. And this is a 120 grit sandpaper, so medium, you want to use a medium sandpaper. When I was sanding this with the um, sander machine, I was using a 50 grit, something really coarse to really get up that paint, but it didn't leave my wood like, you know, um, coarse, so it's, it's still nice and smooth. I don't need to go back over it with a lighter um, sandpaper to smooth it out. It's good, but yeah, I'm using a 120 grit right now to smooth out this wood filler. And now that all of the steps are fixed, filled in all of the holes for the areas that are gonna be exposed, I'm gonna go and vacuum it up and wipe it down just to make sure all of the dust is gone. And then I'm gonna start painting. I'm gonna prime first, and then I'm going to paint. All right guys, so now I am just priming the stairs. And I am using the 123 primer. This is a water-based primer. And I'm using this one because this is unfinished wood, so I don't have to worry about like you know any coating unlike the stair spindles this was a coated surface so i had to use an oil-based primer something that can stick to the um wood but this is unfinished so you don't really have to use an oil-based primer so i'm just going to go ahead and use this water-based one and i'm only doing one coat of primer i'll go back and do two coats of paint and when all of the painting is done i can staple the runner to the stairs and oh let me show you guys the runner okay so this is the runner guys i got it from amazon i really love it i think it's gonna look great and it wasn't like really pricey either so that's another plus and it also has the backing as well so you don't have to go out and buy like rubber backings for it like the um so that it doesn't slide it already comes with it and I was able to get it for the length of the stairs because you can get this runner pretty long. All right, guys. So I primed the stairs. I went over it with a coat of paint. And um, I did, you know, mess up <laughs> at this part because I'm using the Pro Classic, um, you know, the same paint that I used on the spindles. I'm using on the stairs. But I do recommend you guys use an indoor outdoor paint for this because it's going to be more durable than just a regular interior paint. But I've already started. If I decided to go back and use the um, indoor outdoor paint, I would have to sand all of this off and... I am definitely not about to do that. <laughs> I mean, this is okay. It's not like it's going to be an issue because I am using a runner that's going to cover the majority of the steps. The only area that's going to show is like right here on the side. And that's not really an area that's going to be stepped on. So I'm not going to worry about it. But if you decided to like paint the entire step, then yes, definitely use the um, interior exterior paint for that. Don't use, you know, a regular indoor paint. You want something that's strong and something that's not going to be slippery. I'm using a satin finish um, for the um, step area. I do have a high gloss finish on the riser, just like the spindles. But um, I didn't want that super shiny look on the steps. So I only put that on the riser, but it's still the same paint. One is just a high gloss and the steps is a satin. So that's what I'm doing right now, guys. Um, yeah, nearly done. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up. I already have one coat down. I'm doing my second coat right now. All right, so I'm going to install the runner now. I am going to cut off this top part here because I don't want this to show at the top of the um, step. So I'm going to cut this off. And hopefully it doesn't destroy the runner. But either way, I would have to cut off one side 
because this runner is longer than my staircase. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to see if it's gonna work out. If not, then I'll just use the other side and install it without cutting off the top. All right, so before I start the music, I just wanted to come and mention some things. So of course, when you're installing your runner, you wanna have it centered down your staircase. You can use tape to guide you. You can use tape going all the way down the staircase. I didn't do that, but I did make sure to check my size before stapling my runner down. If you do not have anyone helping you hold the carpet at the top of the stairs, then you can always use carpet tape. Just put it on the back end and stick it to the stairs that way it's not like moving around or you're not struggling trying to keep it up there when you do your first step now like I said before this runner does come with padding on the back but if you're using a carpet that doesn't come with any padding you do want to buy some just to keep it from sliding so yeah that's all I wanted to mention guys if you have any questions about anything in this video just leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you and um, I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video guys so the last thing to do is hammering your nails some more now you might not have to do this if you have a really powerful staple gun and if you don't see any of the nails but like here you can see you can see the nails for some areas so I'm just gonna take the um, hammer and I'm just gonna hammer them in all the way up and you won't be able to see it anymore all right, so I am done guys and it looks really, really nice. I am loving this transformation. I'm so excited. I love the runner. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Yes, it's so nice guys. So I did the waterfall method. That's when you just bring the carpet straight down instead of tucking it under the stair nose. That's the Hollywood method of doing it, but I don't really like it. So I went ahead and did the waterfall method and I am just loving it, guys. I'm loving it so, so much. What a transformation, right? The house looks completely different. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you're motivated to tackle your stairs if you're in need of a makeover. But yeah, look at how beautiful my staircase is now. The house is looking so nice. I cannot wait to be completely finished. Now I have to go and decorate the entryway. So that's gonna be it. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you do so. That'll be so, so awesome. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.